for joining me on my very first customized tutorial. And it is for my brother, but hey, you got to take what you can take, right? So, hey, Terry, I hope this is um, informative for you, and I hope you um, can, you know, figure out what your issue is just by seeing what I'm doing here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so I already have this project set up, and if I was to, you know, make some titles, depending on how many titles that I wanted, I'm just going to create a new track. So I have all my titles on one track, and then nothing else will um, get messed up. So I'll insert a video track, and of course I'm right-clicking, and I'm going to expand into my track. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say Insert Text Media. Give that a minute to load. I'm doing some other stuff, so my computer is a little bogged down. And here we go. Here's your sample text. You can see down in your timeline here, here's the text. And if it was to drop down by accident, then I could, um, you know, make it invisible. Or I was thinking maybe what happened is somehow over here, like this got muted out or something, and so it's grayed out like that. Sometimes there's a keyboard shortcut I hit, and it does that same exact thing. And so um, if you had your track like this or something, maybe you wouldn't see it. So I always like expand out my track and then look at this stuff here and see if anything's going on. I think there, like I said, there's another shortcut for that. Okay, and then from here, really, it's just a matter of, oh, there's two more things that are kind of fun. I want to customize, you know, like a title. And I put all this, you know, changes and whatnot into it. And then if you can't see it, then you just need to make sure your cursor is over that part. And then you can actually drag it around from here. So did something happen where it slipped off there? Okay. So once you have, you know, everything that you want on your text up here in the presets, I would just call it Terry, and then I would just save it. And then I'm going to close that out. Okay, so after that I've saved my text and closed it, I'll click over where I would want my new text box, insert text media, immediately go to this drop down menu and go over here and find my preset. Now I can change it or rename it. And, you know, I could stretch it right from here, move it around. If you want to automate that clip, clip on, click, I'm sorry, on this. Here is your entire clip. Let's say you just wanted to, you know, zoom in on it. Go to the end, make sure that you're at the end over here, and then just really grab onto this frame and move it where you would want it to go. I'm just going to say that, and then we can move this out of the, out of the way. Go to the beginning of my clip. Then, so, there you have it. Hopefully this helps. Hey, let me know if not, and then uh, we can, you know, go on further or make another tutorial. See ya.